Madeline. Yes. I study that too. I study that too. I am. Uh, I study uh, business administration, but ah, you? never work. Never work uh, about that. <clears throat> you never working. You never. I never. I never works uh, about my career. Ah, what what happened? What what is your problem? Mm, because uh, when I was young, I started uh, work in a factory. Okay. Uh, and then in this factory, uh, no sé cómo se dice que fui, fui grow up, fui, I was grow up, uh, no sé cómo decir, uh, fui creciendo. I was uh, in, in my, my, my experience, my, my experience is only in factory, in industry. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Oh yes, yeah. I, I see my Así friend no, nunca, Anita. I trabajé de, de economía, más que por ingeniería. Oh, ah, yes. okay. Hey, okay. good I, night, everybody. Hello, okay. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, Hi. teacher. Hi. Yay, very good. good. It's great to see yeah. you again. Yeah, me too. And I'm so happy that even though the teacher was not here because I was listen to you guys uh, you were practicing english yes yes and madeline was my substitute teacher in the meeting yes yeah <laughs> yes in the, in I, the like meeting. <laughs> I was the first student today yes. really that congratulations <laughs> That's Osman, nice. Osman is the second <laughs> the second student Osman I was, was the second one Yes. I was okay. speaking I with him about the, 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 the work and the oh, class. That's amazing. Okay, cool. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. and, yes. I, and I love to hear that because you are speaking. That's what I love the most. <laughs> yes, I like Very speaking good. English. Very good. And so tell me, guys, how was your day so far? Was it good? Pretty yeah. good. Pretty good? Yes, it was good. Okay. Yeah, okay. What did you yeah, do? Good, good. <laughs> Uh, work, work. I I did some exercise. Exercises. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so embarrassing that yoga. Okay. Why is it embarrassing? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean <laughs> physical exercises? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. I, I was I was <laughs> studying your exercising. Okay. Exercises. That's that's why yeah, I love. That. She's a good student. Oh. <laughs> I want to study too. Ah, okay. So I don't like my hair. hair. I'm sorry. I don't like my hair. I know. But you look so gorgeous. <laughs> don't worry, I'm Madeline. Fighting. Don't worry. I'm fighting all day. <laughs> You're beautiful, Madeline. <laughs> yes, of course. Gerardo, Gerardo Sensio, <laughs> what do you say, man? Hello. How are you? Mr. Hey, man. Hi. Okay, cool. Hi, teacher. Hi, sir. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Okay, tell me, Mr. Osman, how was your day so far? Um, was. How was your day? Uh, was boring. Was boring. Why? But uh, I was studying. Uh, I studied. I studied uh, all afternoon. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So you are prepared for today's class. Yes, class. excellent. Of course. Of course. Uh, of course. Always, right? Always. Very good. I I, I study uh, I study a uh, uh, last class. Okay. Uh, auxiliary, uh, auxiliary, auxiliary, uh, do, uh, deal. Okay, uh, cool. I practice. I practice, practice it. Uh, practice it. Yes. yes. Definitely, because we're going to practice a lot today. Okay. Very good. Okay. Yes, a lot. Learn. Uh, what Let's about you, um, Mr. Jose de la O? How was your day? Really fine, thanks. Really fine? Okay. Yeah. Oh, pretty good, as always. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. <clears throat> what about you, Iris? How was your day? Hi. Hi, I'm beautiful very girl. Busy today. <laughs> oh, that's because great. This day, uh, I uh, work. And I participate for a uh, running online. Oh, and nice. this one, uh, uh, today was my day for ID and buy. Oh, okay. And recently, I come back after the market. Wow, yes. You gotta do, you gotta be patient, right? 
Yeah. You have to do <laughs> lines for everything. Was busy for hair. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, so, because I'm I'm all in my home. <laughs> oh, okay. I understand that perfectly. But I'm so happy that you came on time. Yeah. For well, English classes, which is really good. Yeah, very good. It's very satisfied. It's very satisfied, definitely. Yes. There you go. Who else? Mr. Francisco Mahano, how are you? Um, hello, how are you, teacher? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How about you? I'm good. Um, I practice okay. a little bit in the morning. Okay. Um, then I did some university, some homeworks from the university. Okay. And then I just um, rest for a while uh, until until the the English class. That's nice. So that's why you look so fresh today. Yeah. Yesterday you were like, <sighs> but now no, <laughs> nah, right? Like nah. No, you were just like. Yeah, uh, rest in your eyes, right? <laughs> sure. Yes, ma'am. I was in vacation this week. No, cool. You're still on vacation? Yes, all the students are in vacation too. Except you, <laughs> right? <laughs> Except you. All the yes. students, all the Except students. Me. Yes, I know. That's nice. Don't yeah, you think? All the week. Oh, all yeah. the week. The, 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 the problem is that we cannot go out. Before, um, yes, right, Mari? They, they, were, they were in vacation and the last, the last week mm -hmm. for, for rain. Oh, okay. Because of the weather conditions. The weather mm -hmm. conditions, yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, guys. Today we're going to finish our topic for Simple Past. As well, Ooh. we're going to learn something about us too, also. Okay. And uh, and for now on, every time that we enjoy class, I want you to tell me everything that you have done during the day. That means that we're going to put in practice simple past. Okay. Okay. And in this, you will be able to use not only the past with the verb to be that we have seen uh, in the previously uh, to online classes, uh, but also today you are going to complement the past with the auxiliary did. So basically, when you, when, now from now on, when you tell us about your, uh, your daily routine, you need to use both, okay? Depends on exactly what you would like to say, okay? Today, guys, we're going to practice a lot, a lot, and I mean a lot is a lot. Okay. Yeah, very we're good, going to good. speak <laughs> a lot. Mm -hmm. Speak a lot. A lot. And I know that you love to speak, right? Yeah, so definitely it will be really fun. We're going to play it also as well, okay? Oh, <laughs> guys, and tomorrow we're going to have so much fun. Uh, I think for some, for all of you, you don't know what is game. But tomorrow we're going to play a game. Ooh, it's an interactive fine. game, actually. Everybody will be involved. Okay. okay. Great. It is great, actually. Uh, part of the class will be like practicing, right? Writing and speaking. But the other one will be everybody involved. And this is really nice because you must study everything. Because you don't know what the teacher is going to ask you about. <laughs> Yes, that is an interactive game that is made by myself. <laughs> okay. I have to make it every time that I want to use it with my students. And this is going to be so much fun, guys. So I think you should study, okay? Because it okay. has time. It has time. And it's like a running, for example. We're going to double check who answers first, for example. And at the last... At, at least when you finish the game, um, we're going to see who got the gold medal, yeah, the silver and the bronze. That means it's going to be okay. the first, the second, and the third place. So it will be like a running, basically. Okay. Have you played video games? Yes. 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 Me too. 
Sega, but I played it. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. That was a long time ago, like in 1990s, right? And living like that way. <laughs> okay, so are you ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Yes. Let's do this. All right. Are you ready to rock and roll? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, cool. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> Let's the party oh, start. Dance. Yeah. Dance. I like dance, dance, right? Dance, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Dance and sing. It's yeah. so good. Exactly, it's so good. <laughs> All right, it's guys. So good. Oh, you see my goodness. <laughs> okay, have you taken by any chance two or three or four or five cups of coffee? <laughs> 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 yeah, I love this girl. She brings so much energy. So that's cool. You see, that's why he's my uh my co-worker. <laughs> okay, so let's continue, okay, with the simple pass. But tell me something. What is the simple pass for a bird to be? Thank you, Mary. Go ahead. Me? Yes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, but I don't know, say, um, about me, about my life, or... No, no, no. What? I just asked, what is the simple pass of the bird to be? Was, ah, was. the simple was. was, was and were. Yeah. Should I use was with you, we, and they? I, I use was when I use I'm, he, she, it. And yes. I use were when I um, call, uh, pronoun is were, they. Exactly. Very good. Um, Mr. Arturo, can you please tell me a question you soon was at the beginning of the question. Okay. Was you born in China? Were you born in China? Or was you born in China? Uh, sorry, were uh -huh. you born in China? Very good. Can you please uh, answer that question, Mr. Um, Francisco Mahano? No, I weren't. Okay, very good. Can you please answer that question in affirmative way, Osmond? Repeat, please. Can you please answer the same question that I did, that Arturo uh, did, but in affirmative yes, way? Yes, yes, I was born. Very good. There you go. Now continue with you, Osmond. Can you please formulate a question with the past of the verb to be using WH questions? Uh, why? Where do you move to the Santana City? Are you sure? Why, where do you move to live, Santana City? Is I, correct? No. 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 Um, let me think. Where were you born? Okay, can you please ask that question? Can you please answer that question, Mr. Carlos Cruz? Oh, um, I was born. In mm -hmm. Usuluta. <laughs> Very good, okay. excellent. Certain city. <laughs> okay, and tell me something, Carlos Cruz. When were you born? Uh, what? When? When were you born? Oh, I I was born uh, in in twenty seven October twenty seven from of 1992. <laughs> 1992? Oh my God, you're too yeah. young. 92 is younger. Yeah. Yes, he's a baby for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good, excellent job, you see. I'm asking you because I want you to speak. Okay, okay. and it was really good. You have, you have the grammar here, okay? So if you, if you remember the grammar, you have to, okay, then I have to put the subject and the negative one and blah, 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 you see? You see why grammar yes, yes. is really important? Yes. Because that makes you like pop up on your mind. Oh, the structure is like this. So I need to say this in order. Okay, very good job. Now guys, let me introduce you to my party people. I'm just kidding. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Let me just one moment. I want to share my screen with you. Tell me as soon as you're able to see it, and I promise that I'm going to put it in a high way so, so you will be able to, to see it. Okay, Madeline, I promise that. 
No, I... No, allow me one more. I cannot. I'm, I I'm cannot about read to, it. I'm about to show it to you. Okay, no, cool. Can you see it? Can you see it? No. Oh, come it's on. Not, it's not good. Isn't that good? Oh. Can you see it, guys? Yes. 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 Yeah, you see? see? Yes. Uh -huh. But it's not good. Yes. It see. is good. Come on. Let me do it once again. Hopefully, this time, my dear can see it. Okay? Hopefully. There you go. All righty. Hopefully. Now? Yes. Okay. Much better. Okay, guys. Yeah, this looks is much better. Much better. Okay, thank you. I do really appreciate that. It's okay. So, guys, as I said before, we do have also just no questions with uh, the auxiliary did, as also we had just no question with the verb to be in the past. If you take a look at the left, right, we have the just no questions with did. Okay, could you please be so kind to read for me the first question, Brian? Did you? Hey, what? The first question, could you please be so kind to read it for me? Did you work on Saturday? Very good. Because this is a just no question, guys. The intonation goes up or goes down? Goes up. Goes up. Exactly. Can you please read it again for me, Brian? Did you work on Saturday? Fantastic. Amazing. Did you, Did you work, work on, on Saturday? Saturday? Very good. Did you work on Saturday. Okay. Uh, Maria, could you please be so kind to answer in a affirmative way? Yes, I did. I worked all day. Very good. Fantastic. Can you please answer in a negative way, Madeline? No, I didn't. I didn't work all day. You didn't work all day? I didn't work at all. At all. Uh, at all. all. Very I good. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Exactly. Okay, guys. This one is um, a way that you, you have to say it in one way. At all. Repeat after me. At all. At all. At all. At all. Let, exactly. At all. Let's repeat this last sentence, okay? No, I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. 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 Didn't work at all. Very good. Okay, you have to join these two last uh, words. You have to yeah link them. Okay, so you can like pronounce it more fluently and sound more um, natural. Okay, we're going to practice also the pronunciation. Very good. Very good, Madeline. At all. At all, exactly. Oh, hey, can oh, you please be so kind to read it for me? The second just now question, Miss Iris, please. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Very good and good oh. intonation. Can you please answer for me, Gerardo, in the affirmative way? Hey, yes, I did. I went to the movies. Very good job. Can you please answer for me in a negative way, Miss Claudia Marroquin? No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. Very good job, guys. Thank you so much. So if you see, guys, we have the structure right now for the just no question that is actually follows the same structure that we already are used to with the verb to be. But now we're going to use the auxiliary did. Guys, <laughs> did is the past of which verb? Do. Do. Uh, do. 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 Exactly. Very good. So can you see right now the structure that I have here? Yes. First of all, yes. we have yes. did, yes. yeah, the auxiliary, right? Then we have the subject. Mm. Then we have the verb in infinitive way. In, in the I didn't way. read it. In the yeah. base form. In the base form, exactly. That's what yeah. it means, the base it's like form. Person. It's like person? Exactly, that means present, exactly. So that means that you do not conjugate. <laughs> and then we have the complement, okay? Take a look at the example, the first question that we do have here in the slide. Did you work on Saturday? Okay. Did you work, Did you work on Saturday? On Saturday? Mm -hmm. What happened? Tell me, guys, what is the main verb here in this particular question? Did you work, work. on Saturday? Work, exactly. Work. That is the main work. verb, exactly. So do you notice, guys, that the, uh, the main verb is in present tense? Yes. 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 Why? Yes. Because, because of the auxiliary. Exactly. Because we're using already the auxiliary did. So that means that the auxiliary did, it gives us the idea automatically that we were talking about the past. 
So automatically transform the question and automatically transform the sentences, doesn't matter if it's a positive or a negative one, in the past. So that means that the main verb, we don't have to conjugate. Yeah? Teacher. Yes, Madeline, I'm listening to you. Uh, when you use this, mm -hmm. the, the verb is in present when you ask, uh, ask a question. Exactly. Yeah? Yes, exactly. When okay. you ask a question, and as well when you answer. And do you notice, guys, that doesn't, in this case, doesn't matter if you use any subject. You can use I, he, she, it, we, you, they, and there is no difference. Yes. Like in present, do you remember? Yes. In present, yes. that we don't consider yes. do, we have do for I, you, we, you, they, and does for he, she, it. Is that correct? Yes, yes. it's correct. Yes. However, in, uh, when we're talking about past, this is more simple. That's why it's simple past, because we, we have only one auxiliary. In this case, it's did. It doesn't matter which subject you use. Okay. It's not okay. do or does. Exactly, it's not. We're going to, I have a slate for that. So we're going to see that later on, so you will have more clear about that. But let me ask you guys, so far so good? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. Can, we, can we move forward? Yes. Okay, yes. guys, okay. take a look at the right side, which is basically the WH questions that also we do have with did. Guys, do you remember what is the difference between the just no questions and the WH questions? It's a simple answer. Uh -huh. What is a simple answer? The answer is just yes or no. Okay, that is just no question or WH question? The just no question. Yes, no exactly. Question. What about the WH? The real question is for. Uh, you give information. Exactly. For Very good. Information. Information, right. Exactly. I need more than a simple yes and a simple no. Very good job. Okay. And can you please be so kind, Alberto, to read for me the first question of the WH one? Okay. Okay. The first one. Mm -hmm. Yes. What did Rick do on Saturday? Very good. What did Rick do on Saturday? Okay, do you see the intonation goes up or down? Up. 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 Down. What did, down. What, did do, down. Uh, what did Rick do on Saturday? Go down. down. What did Rick do on Saturday? Exactly. Very good job. So now, guys. What is the answer? Uh, Jose B, could you please be so kind to read it for me, the answer? He stayed home and started for a test. Okay, can you say it again, please? He stayed home and started for a test. Very good, he stayed home and studied for the test, for a test. Very good job, excellent job. Okay, guys, take a look at this. Even though in a WH question, we use a WH question, we use did, and of course, right, the main verb, which in this case, do, is in present. You can see that, right? Yes. However, when we answer <coughs> in affirmative way, what happened? Do we use did? The verb, no. Change. No. Uh -huh. yeah. yes. We use the verb in? In past. past. In past. 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 Exactly. Yes. In this past. case, stayed and studied. Both verbs are, re it is regular or irregular? Regular. Are you sure? Regular. 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 Oh. Regular. Both of them, exactly. Why? Because I have a ED at the end, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, now take a look at the second question. Uh, Ana Rosales, could you please be so kind to read it for me? Mm. Do we listen to her? No. Nope. No, right? I think we do not listen oh, to no. her. Um, Jose de Lao, can you please be so kind to read it for me? Sure. How did Meg spend her weekend? Very good and good intonation. How did Meg spend her weekend? Notice again, sir. Did the auxiliary and a spend in present, right? Spend. Very mm -hmm. good. Okay, what is the answer? Um, Osmond. She went to karaoke bar and some, excuse me, I can, I can see. Excuse me, I can see, uh, I can no. move. Uh, Don't worry, take your time. I, you can move she, the window. 
she went mm -hmm. to a karaoke bar and she I can see more sorry yeah okay that's okay not a problem uh, who can see it Brian Sam with some friends Me? very good thank you she went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends very good guys as the same example of the first question even though we use did but the answer is in the past tense is that correct the yes, whole verse yes. okay yes. went is the past of which verb go go, go. very good go. or goes Pass. if you're talking about third person what about son is the past tense of which one Sing. 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 okay Sing. both verbs are regular or irregular ones irregular, irregular. irregular ones exactly irregular. which which verb both of them went and sung yeah both and sung. both exactly so that means guys that we, we can say that regular verbs the first ones are a little bit easy because basically when you put it in the past it's always the same ed the difference will be the pronunciation and we have three categories for that okay, okay. I, I promise i will send it to you a link for you to study that and also a video because you will need to like also know how to pronounce it. We have three pronunciations for regular verbs. We have D, we have K, and we have T. E, uh, okay, I, D, and T, exactly. So it's, they do not pronounce exactly the same, even though every, everything ends at E, D. However, uh, the irregular verbs, those are the tough ones because we don't have rules. They change. So that means that you gotta learn them no matter what, okay? And the only okay. way to learn them is to study them. Okay, that's why in the file that I sent it to you guys, I had some some examples there. I don't know if you have seen it. I, yes, and especially for regular ones, I have I sent it to you. But I will send it to you I regular ones as well. Okay, so you will be able to start. Okay. Okay, guys, and uh, take a look at the the formula. We have first the WH question, mm -hmm. then we got did the mm -hmm. subject is still the verb in the infinitive way. And we have the complement. Take a look at the example of the first question. What did Rick do on Saturday? Exactly. Okay, as well, guys, you can use either the name of the person or you can use exactly the, the pronoun. It's up to you. Okay? Very good. Okay, now can you see it, Madeline? Tell me. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes, of okay, course. Cool. Okay, cool. Okay. Much better. Much better. To the beach. Okay. Did you go to the beach? Hey, um, no, Francisco, didn't. did you go to the beach? No, I didn't. Okay. Brian, did he break the window? No, I didn't. Did he break the window? Oh, no, yeah. he didn't. Very he good. Did. No, he didn't, or yes, he did. Depends, right? Okay, yes. take a look, guys. Did and the verb always yeah. in present. Okay, never forget that. Okay, cool. Okay, let me ask you. This is not the correct way. <laughs> Did you went to the beach? Is it right or wrong? Wrong. Is wrong? wrong. Why? Because wrong. the verb is in past. Wrong. Exactly. The verb has to present. Uh -huh. exactly. You broke to the beach. Did he broke the window? No way. Okay, so that is not correct. Okay. Not correct. Didn't go. It, Exactly. Just remember, guys, that if you use did, the verb has to be in she present. Got to the beach. Important. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's why I put that just for double checking. Okay. Okay. So the affirmative sentences. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. Let's practice pronunciation. Repeat after yes. me. They went to the park last weekend. They went to the park last weekend. Last weekend. They went to the park last weekend. They went to the park last weekend. Last weekend. They went to the park last weekend. They went to the park last weekend. Very good. Okay, now let's put another practice of pronunciation. Let's go like a turtle. Let's just start like a turtle, and then we're going to move forward, and then we ended up as a rabbit. Okay. 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 I, I, I woke up, 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 up late, woke up late this morning. This morning. I woke up 
I woke up late. 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 I <laughs> okay, okay. You gotta be careful with that. Okay. I woke up late this morning. I woke up, I woke up late, late this morning. Very good. And the last one, she came late to class. She came, she came late, late to class. class. Okay, guys. So I'm going to leave you now. Now everybody will be, I'm going to sip it, and then you all of you will pronounce it. Okay? One, two, three. I'll start with the first one. Go ahead. They went to the second one. I woke up, I woke up late, late, late this morning. morning. Third this one. Morning. She came late. She came, came late. To class. I cannot hear you again. Go ahead. Start from the beginning. To the park last week. Okay. Late this morning. Okay. Came late to class. Very good. Excellent job. You see? Yes, of course. Yes. And then at the end of the class, oh my God, why my cheeks are hardy. <laughs> yes, it is because you're using your muscles, okay? Very good, okay. We're going to do that because that will help you guys in the speedness, okay? In the pronunciation, that's really important. Okay, let's continue. Remember, guys, for short answers and affirmative and negative ones, we use did, yes, I did, or no, I. <laughs> Didn't. 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 I also, guys, didn't. that is the contractual way. But what is the regular word for didn't? Didn't not. Did not. Did not. Did not. Very good. Didn't. Did not. Did not. Did not. Did not. Remember, guys, if you see <coughs> the contractual way, you got to pronounce it in a contractual way. Didn't. 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 And if you see it in full, didn't. did not. Yes, I did. Did not. not. Didn't. Very good. Did not. Okay, so we need to remember something. The auxiliary did. Is. And the you main verb did. goes back to present okay back to okay take a look at this one guys i have some on this i didn't see you did not see oh come on come on <laughs> what about this one can you see it not too yes. close yes okay cool okay guys i have chosen uh one <coughs> verb in this case walk 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 walk, walk. 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 No, walk. Walk, That's wrong. Walk. 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 There is a yes, restaurant, right? Of Chinese walk. food. Chi we China walk. 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 Right? Walk. walk. It's exactly the same pronunciation. Walk. 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 Yes. Walk. Especially because we're starving. I'm just kidding. <laughs> walk. Okay. Exactly. Walk. Walk. Okay, guys. So walk. tell me, tell me, walk. this is regular or a regular one? Regular. It's regular. regular. Exactly. It's because regular. if you would like to translate it into the past, what is the la two letters that you need to put at the end? It is. It is. Exactly. So I have chosen this verb as an example how you can construct one verb in the three ways. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Can I? Can you please be so kind to read for me the affirmative column, uh, Arturo? I did walk. No, the affirmative one. Oh, I walk. Okay, continue. You walk. Okay. He walk. We walk, and they walk. Very good. Walk. Now I love it. On the first one, I just heard you. I walk, but it's I walk. I walk. Walk. I walk. You walked. You okay. walk. 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 He walk. Okay. Exactly. Okay, and and I will be like Sylvester, right, with my umbrella. <laughs> yes. Very good. Exactly. That's walk. why I ask you because the pronunciation walk. is different. Okay. Um, you, walk. When I send you the link, you will walk. be able to see which category goes which ones. Okay. Okay. Very okay. good. Can you please be so kind to read for me the negative uh, column, Madeline? I didn't walk. Mm -hmm. You didn't walk. She, he didn't walk. Mm -hmm. We didn't walk. And they didn't walk. Excellent. Very good job. Can you please continue with the interrogative one, Mr. Carlos Cruz? Hey. Did I walk? Did you walk? Did he walk? Did we walk? Did they walk? Very good and good intonation because you, you went up. Excellent. Very good job. 
Excellent, guys. Okay, you see, we have the three categories here. Uh -huh. Okay, I send it to you guys. This is the, the, the file that I sent it to you in the WhatsApp group. So please study them. But for complement that, I promise I'm going to send you a video that will help you with the explanation and at the same time with the pronunciation of the regular verbs, okay? Because it's really okay. important that you practice, okay? But you already have that, so that's amazing. That I just show it to you as an example. Okay, you see, this is what I sent it to you. This is really nice because we have in the past how you pronounce it and what is the meaning in Spanish. I sent it to you, these guys, and this one as, as well. Guys, just a quick review. Um, also, there are some expressions that you can use you would like to emphasize about the past. There are some, have you used these expressions before? Yes. Okay. Yes. Can you please be so kind to read it for me, Gerardo? Okay. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. huh? Yesterday, I go uh, last month, last week, month. last month. year, mm -hmm. in 2003, in 2007. Very good. Okay, only this one. Uh, let's repeat this one. Last month. Last, last month. month. Yes. Last month. 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 Okay, take a look. Take a look at this. When we have the th together, this one sounds like z as in zebra. Uh -huh. Do me like a favor. Like yes. A soda. Like like, like, uh, like a like a snake. <laughs> snake. Yeah. Yes. Last okay. Yes, could you please be so kind to do this exercise for me? Open your mouth. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. I'm yes, going to, mm -hmm. 2003. No, I will, I will, we're going to practice that. But let's practice first of all the how you pronounce month. Okay? Take a look up at my mouth, guys. My tongue, it is in the middle of the two groups of teeth. Okay? Okay. So repeat after. Do it again. Let's do this practice. Month. 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 Very good. Last month. Last month. Maybe right now you you feel like goofy. You you know what goofy is? Yeah, you know that. But don't care about it. Okay. What I want is to just um get used to the pronunciation, and maybe at the beginning your facial expressions could sound and seem exaggerating, but is it because your muscles are getting used to the pronunciation or the sound? But yeah. if you practice them, it will come natural. Right now is we're like okay. exaggerating, like mouth, right? A month. Mm. Um, mouth. But, if you, but if you practice, you can say it last mm. month. Last month. Did I exaggerate? Last month. Last month. No, last month. because I practiced last month. Last month. Last month. Last month. Last month. Last month. Very good. Last month. Last month. Okay. Let's take a look at the question of Madeline, the last two, yeah. in 2003. 2003. 2003. 2003. 2003. 2003. Yes. 2003. It is like, it is, 2003. it is 2000. It's like 1000. 2000. You see, guys, we're practicing everything. We also practice 2003. Very good. I saw, I saw 2003. Sorry, sorry. No, no, that's okay. Not a problem. That's why we're practicing. Okay, let's move forward. Okay, guys. Let's practice speaking. <coughs> Yay. I have a great weekend. Yes. You see, guys, this is an example or how can you describe your weekend? But as I said in the previously class, uh, if you started talking in the past, you have to stay in the past, right? No like Latin people that mix at the bird tenses. No. Okay. So this is an example, an exercise of how you describe your weekend and talk about the past. Using all the verbs that you know in the past. Okay. Doesn't matter if they're regulars or irregulars. So we're going to mix it up, all of them guys. Okay. Take a look. We have three people that they are describing their own weekend, what had happened. So, let's practice reading, okay? We're going okay. to move forward. Uh, Maria, 
Could you please be so kind to read for me? What is what? What was Kelly's? And oh, sorry, Erica. Message. Go ahead. Uh, but I don't see the presentation. You do not see the presentation? No. no. Okay, then do me so let's do something. Let me do it again and hopefully you can see it. Let okay. me just one moment. I, I want you to see the presentation because I want you to read it. For okay, me. okay. Ooh, yes, there you go. Yes, now it's very really difficult to read it. Is it better? Yes. Okay, cool. Go ahead, please. Watch and the first. Erica. Yeah, the first one, please, if you don't mind. Okay, miss message. Yes. I had a great weekend. Mm -hmm. I went to the to my best friend Helen White waiting. Mm -hmm. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. I'm really happy for her. Very good. And thank you so much for the intonation that you gave it. It sounds like you were telling the story. That's <laughs> okay. nice. That's nice. Exactly. Very good. Very good job, Maria. Okay, only just one quick, uh, one quick review for pronunciation. Okay. Helen's wedding. Helen's wedding. 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 Exactly. Helen's wedding. 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 Got married. Got married. Got married. Got married. Got married. Got married. Exactly. Got married. She looked. Fantastic. She looked fantastic. She, she looked. She looked. Very happy for fantastic. her. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. She looks. She looked she look fantastic. No luck. Looked. Look, 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 Very good. Excellent job. Fantastic. Guys, <laughs> have you seen that when uh, when Kelly was uh, was talking about her activity on, on weekend, for example, did she mix the two type of verbs? Regular and irregular ones? Yes. Yes, right? Yes. Yes, yes. That's why it's really important to manage both of them. Exactly. Tell me, guys, on her description, what was the, um, the, the, the regular ones? The regular verbs? Regular. Yes, regular. Married. Look. 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 Married. Look. Look. Married. Look. Married. Married. And the irregular ones? Had. Had. Went. Went. Excellent job. When is irregular? Mm -hmm. When is irregular? Very good. It's the first go. Yeah. Okay. Now let's continue with Carlos. Who can read it for me? Okay. This is going to be too much confident, but Carlos Cruz, go ahead. Hey. Uh, oh, me to call you. Yes. Your palm. Uh, I had a, a terrible weekend. Okay. My friend and I. My friend and I went to. A rock concert. I had a terrible, terrible time. I drove. I drove three hours to arrive there. I didn't like the music at, at all. And after the concert, and, as, and after the concert hour, our car broke down. Broke mm down. -hmm. We finally got at home at dentist. More dentist. 10 this morning. Oh, hello. I am so tired. Very good. Okay, good try. I know you, you, you see, guys, that speaking is different than reading, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, but that's okay. Only if you practice, you will improve. That's good. But, Carlos, do me a favor. The first, okay. uh, the first read is because you were familiar with the description. Okay, try to think like you were that person, Carlos. And you're your weekend was a completely disaster. So could you please be so kind to like say it, like if you were telling the story like, oh, I had a terrible weekend, okay? Like getting to the character. Can you please do it for me? Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Um, I had a terrible weekend. Very good. My friends and I, I went to a rock concert. Mm -hmm. Continue. Continue, okay. I had a terrible time. Mm -hmm. I drove three hours to arrive here. Uh, I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert, our car broke down. We finally got at home at 10 this morning. 
I am so tired. Very good. Guys, did you notice that this second time Carlos read much better? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 You should be proud of yourself, Carlos. <laughs> Very good, because you get into the character. Okay? And, okay. And, and I promise that the third time, it will be much better. Very good job. Okay. Just okay. some expressions, okay? Uh, for example, you said this one. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yes, yeah, this one. Um, I didn't I like, like the music you. at all. Can you please repeat it, everybody? I didn't like the music didn't at all. Like the music at all. I didn't, I didn't like, like the, the music, music at all. all. Very good. And another no, another one. Like um, like the after the concert, our car broke down. And after the concert, our car broke down. Our car broke down. Broke down. Broke down. Okay. Yeah, that is a two-word verb. We're going to see it later on. Okay, so that's good. Very good. Excellent job, Carlos. And last one, but not least one, I want to show a girl. Another girl. Ah, another girl. Let me double check who I'm going to pick. Patricia. There you go, because you look like her. Go ahead. Nancy, what was Nancy's weekend? Okay. I had an interesting yeah. weekend when camping for the first time. My friends and I left on Saturday and drove to the camp camp campsite. First, we popped up the tent. Then we built a fire and told a story. We got out early on Sunday and went to finish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Very good, very good, excellent. Okay, guys, there, tell me, may I ask you something? In this particular description, uh, there are, so, are there any words brand new for you? Mm. That you would like to know the meaning of each part, of particular word? Teacher could Come, be tent. Come tent. 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 Yes, tent. Okay, tent. Inside. Have you gone, for example, to Miramundo? Yeah. And you don't yes. want to stay in a, in a hotel if you would like to stay yes. outside, outdoors, like camping? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Campsite yeah. is the place where all the tents, all the camping. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All the all you, all you all the camping's beds, if you can say that, or camping's houses, uh, they put on. Okay. So campsite is the place, and tent okay. is where you get inside and you sleep. Okay. Okay. If you are outdoor. Okay. But any other one? Then no? we build a a fire. Build a fire. That means that you okay. If you are like outside and outdoor, and it's really cold. Need to be warm, right? Yeah. Okay. So you yes, look for wood, and then yes, you sir. turn it on the fire. Why um, use uh, the 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 word build? Build the fire. Uh, we can yeah. use we can use build. do. We can and use do 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 a fire. Fire. Not really. Or we make. can make. use make. Fire. Make a fire. Make. Yes. Make a fire. Make a fire yes. Fire, yes. Make. Okay. Make or build. Okay, yes. very good. Okay, so repeat after me because we're going to practice a pronunciation. Interesting. 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 First time. First time. Guys, this is really important because even though you have here an I, but the pronunciation is with E, as in elephant. Mm -hmm. So it's first. 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 Okay. first. Time. Good. first. first time. Left on. Left on. Drop. Left on. Drop. 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 Stories. stories. No a stories because I don't have an stories. E here. Stories. It's, it's stories. a start with S. Stories. 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 
Do me a favor. Story. Have you heard when a wheel get punched? Like if you were in a car and then something like book got into your car's wheel and like that. Story. Okay. Story. So Story. let's practice this. Story. Story. Everybody. Story. 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 Everybody. Story. I just want Story. just to hear like. Story. Story. Only that. Story. <laughs> Okay, stories. now we're going to practice with the word stories. 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 Did you notice stories. that you do not pronounce the E? You don't say it's stories. You said stories. 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 Very good job. Stories. Excellent. Stories. Stories. Got up early. Got up early. Fishing. 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 Didn't Fishing. really like camping. Didn't really like camping, really like camping. Like camping. Really but I learned a lot. But I learned a lot. Learned. But I learned a lot. Learned a lot. Very good job. Learned a lot. Wow, we have practice, right? Okay, did you still feel your chicks? No. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys, this is going to be your homework. Yes, this is going to be your homework for tomorrow. I okay. want everybody, but everybody, to tell me about your last weekend. Like the example that we have seen right now, okay? It doesn't have to be like, who the whole of opera, okay? No, or the whole testament, no way. Like this, the, this one that we have seen, brief ones, like one or two paragraphs at the, at the list, okay? That's okay, okay? okay. That's what I want. Okay. Hey guys, I'm like, I'm like yes. Let's, let's continue practicing because we have to speak, right? Yes. But, and we have to put in practice the simple past, right? Yes. Okay, I know that you're going to dream about simple past today. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> and everybody will be like, what happened with Carlos? He got crazy or what? Because he will be, I broke up. <laughs> Yay, I told, yeah, I, I promise that. Okay, we're going to practice right now, guys. Yes, Madeline. Tell me. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Let me just one moment. Okay, what happened? Yes, listen to you. What happened, Madeline? Ah, uh, what? What is your uh, the? What is the um, the homework? The homework. Okay, the homework it will be in one or two paragraphs. You have to tell us about your weekend, your last weekend. Last the, weekend. Yes. Ah. Oh. That means you are going to talk about the past and you're going to use both verbs, irregular and regular ones, okay? Two verbs. Yes. Two verbs. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's practice, right? Let's continue practicing. Do you like speaking, right? The homework is for tomorrow. Okay. Yes, of course the homework is for tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> or if you would like to, you can do it today. No, right? <laughs> no. It's okay tomorrow. It's okay tomorrow. <laughs> I will give you on time. Tomorrow. Okay, guys. Okay. There you go. Can you still listen to me? What is, when is the question?